Hey everyone, I'm John Rasmussen from HK Shooting. You know, there's probably no more recognizable firearm in history than the iconic HK MP5. From military special operations unit to elite law enforcement teams, just the mere profile of the MP5 is immediately recognizable by people from around the world and all generations. It has been 30 years since the U.S. public has been able to buy an MP5 style farm from HK. Sure, there have been clones, but a real German-made HK MP5 style farm has been unavailable. But now, after a long and painful wait, it's here. The HK SP5. The SP5 is an all German-made 9mm roller-delayed blowback action sporting pistol. It ships standard with a rugged nylon case, two 30-round curved magazines, a sling, and a sight tool. The heart of any firearm is its barrel. The SP5 comes standard with the Navy barrel an 8.9 inch cold hammer forged barrel made of HK's legendary cannon grade steel. With the half by 28 pitch threaded muzzle along with the tri-lug barrel allows the attachment of many commonly found muzzle devices and suppressors. The backbone of the SP5 is its roller delayed blowback action, legendary for its accuracy, reliability, and smooth operation. The SP5 comes standard with HK's upgraded F bolt carrier group. Developed in a bid to win a European law enforcement contract, HK had to submit 10 sample MP5s, which had to fire 400,000 rounds of ammunition with zero stoppages and only minimal malfunctions allowed. This same bow group is found in the SP5. Another welcome upgrade on the SP5 is that it ships with the ambidextrous trigger pack, which includes the extended safety selector levers. The extended safety selector levers allows both right and wrong-handed shooters to more easily manipulate the safety regardless of finger length. Just like the MP5, the SP5 comes standard with a paddle magazine release, which is fully ambidextrous and facilitates faster magazine changes. When you buy an HK SP5, you'll get quality HK fit and finish. You won't get an out-of-spec magazine well, out-of-spec optic mounting tabs, a crooked cocking tube, a canted front sight, an out-of-timed barrel. What you will get with the SP5, because it's made in the same factory, on the same tooling, by the same workforce that has been building MP5s for years, is the highest level of quality and workmanship that can only be found from HK. The SP5 ships as a pistol, but it is easily SBR'd, and it accepts all common braces and stocks without fitment issues common in other clones. The new Hi, I'm Patrick Hanley with Sig Sauer, and what I have for you today is the new cane brake rattler. As many of you know in the past, the MCX has been very well known for its six and three quarter configuration. The suppressed version of the six and three quarter was the original reason the MCX was designed. Then we later moved into the Rattler family, which brought that barrel size down to five and a half. Never before have we shipped in this configuration an SD-ready platform, for the reason being that once we install the SD handguard, the barrel usually sits with inside the handguard. With the inert training device, it allows to make sure that the user, if they do not have a suppressor installed, has the ability to function the firearm without the flash being inside of the handguard. This inert muzzle device is designed that it can function with the rifle, in the unsuppressed setting. However, the intention of this rifle is to have it set up so that it can be suppressed. Any 762 suppressor will immediately mount to this platform by removal of the inert training device. Some of the other features that we have to the cane brake rattler is we have a flat blade FDE trigger, which is a match two-stage duo trigger to what same as what ships on MCX today. And then you also have the PCB folding brace in the back, which allows you to bring the rattler down to a smallest possible configurable size for storage. This PCB also pivots in the back to allow any users, when they're functioning this as a pistol, to be able to bend their arm so the rifle will actually contour with their, with their arm as they shoot. Smith & Wesson professional shooter, I'd like to introduce to you the new Smith & Wesson M&P 15X rifle. Some of the features of this rifle is a six position buttstock. Going forward to that, it has a flip up rear sight. It's made by Magpul, it's the MBUS model. And on the bottom of the frame here, they have an integral forged trigger guard. The handguard assembly is an M&P Slim modular handguard with M-Lock capability. It also ships with a two inch rail section so you can attach vertical grips or optics of an accessory of choice. Moving on to the barrel assembly, it comes with a 16-inch barrel. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO. It also has 5 bar rifling, and it'll handle any bullet weight you can put in it, from the lightest to the heaviest. It has a carbine-length gas system. The barrel is treated with an armor knife finish, both interior and exterior, and that's really great for wear resistance and also corrosion resistance. And it's all topped off with their proprietary flash suppressor, guys. This also works as a mild muzzle brake. Uh, just a good setup. Also included is the Magpul 30 round P-Mag. So for more information on the Smith & Wesson M&P 15X rifle, you can go to the Smith & Wesson website.